Welcome to Free Space, everyone. Congratulations, Griffin. You managed to free all of Free's citizens and prove that you don't have to be slaves in the system. This evacuation was legendary. I've never seen anything like it. Everyone loves an undertaker. Thanks, James. It's been five years in the making. I wish I could take the credit, but I had a great team. I want to thank each of you for your valiant efforts today. Without any one of you, all would have been lost. Come in, Detective Griffin Hale. Do you read me? Loud and clear, Captain Jax. Thank you for your services. Anytime, you old salty pirate. Say, you wouldn't happen to have someone named Silas aboard your transport, would you? Actually, I do. He was a big part of Operation Exodus. Why? Meet me on the RCCS Imada. I have someone here who wants to see him. I don't like the sound of that. I would trust Jax with my life, Silas. And that's saying something. It's probably someone you helped evacuate who wants to thank you personally. James, you heard the lady. Take us to the Amada. You got it, Hale. to come aboard, Captain. Granted. Griffin hail you old Cyclops. I know we've been planning this for years, but I have to say I'm surprised you pulled it off. Thanks for the confidence, Jax. I couldn't have done it without these fine people. This is robotics expert Dr. Mikhail Gradenko and his assistant, G86. You remember, no. Nope. And this is Silas, the man of the hour. Thanks for your help, Captain. We should all be thanking you, Silas. Very impressive work. I can see why they've taken an interest in you. Who? Hello, Silas. Phoenix! Or should I say Grandma? This guy sure has some weird friends. How did you end up out here, Phoenix? It's a small world amongst the like-minded. Welcome aboard the RCCS Imada. It's a charter. Compliments of Counselor Morello. There was a change of plans, Silas. We were able to get your Thunderbird into space, but not without significant haggling of customs officials. Before you ask, we didn't put any scratches on her, and we've set a waypoint to go fetch her. Mr. Morello wants us to check out Sector C, where the communication signal of the kidnappers came from. He hired this small crew of freelancers to check it out, and he wants us along for the ride. Well, I guess there's no going back home right now. I didn't even get to pack a bag. That's a nice shirt, but it's probably not the best option for tactical work. We'll have to outfit you in something more appropriate, Silas. Follow me to the armory. Wow. Never seen anything like this. How much does it cost? It's a gift from your uncle. The... Don't worry about how expensive it is. The price would make you puke. What? You know my uncle too? Man, this is a day for your surprises, isn't it? And I'm not done yet. The truth is, your uncle set this aside for you when the time was right. Have you ever heard of the Truth Commission? Nope, but I'm sure you're gonna tell me all about it. It's an intersolar cooperative of like-minded individuals in search of the truth. And the truth will set you free. 
We're an independent shadow agency allied with various governments and companies, watching and waiting for threats against humanity. Your uncle is a leading member of the Truth Commission. My uncle never told me any of this. Well, you weren't ready to hear it then. Your uncle is a veteran commissioner in our organization. He thought it best to inform you now. You're special, Silas. This suit will prove it. Special? How? That suit won't respond to the movements of just anyone. The synergy between you and that armor is unique. Your DNA has been augmented to make you better suited for combat. This isn't just science fiction. You're the result of decades of Truth Commission research into genetics. Is this where you tell me I was grown in a lab or something? No, oh, nothing of the sort. You were grown in your mother's womb. You were just... modified. You're a Generation 7 subject. Your uncle is a Generation 5. There are others, but not many. Huh. This sounds rather invasive. I never asked to be a test subject. Actually, you did. Right after you enlisted, your uncle promoted you to receive the Gen 7 treatment, which was new at the time. You even agreed to the memory expungement afterwards. Memory expungement? I opt into an experiment I remember nothing about? Do you know an Ellis Raposa? Let me guess. My alien mother who gave birth to me through a wormhole. Ellis Raposa is me. I was your military recruiter at the time, and I signed you up for the Gen 7 treatment. This is the second time I've briefed you about the Truth Commission. Oh, I'm sorry, Fee, uh, Ellis. I don't remember any of this, and I'm having a really hard time processing all of this at once. I mean, just 48 hours ago, just a lab technician contemplating whether to join the ZGW. Don't be sorry. I'm just Phoenix now. Ellis Raposa is someone who no longer exists, technically. I've had my memory expunged a few times myself, in service as a commissioner. Voluntarily, of course. You requested to have your memories wiped after the augmentation. So you're telling me that I'm actually an elite sleeper agent in service to a vast secret organization? Yeah. I guess I could have explained it that way. Hmm. I guess this explains why I have a hard time connecting the dots. I could hardly remember any details during the cleansing war. It was just all a blur. I thought it was because of all the concussions from combat. You could do your own personal reflection time later. That armor will heighten your already enhanced abilities of speed, strength, durability, and advanced regeneration. It's intuitive and superior to any other armor out there. It's engineered for Gen 7 DNA. If someone other than a Gen 7 were to wear it, it would just be heavy armor. I know this is a lot to take in, but trust me, the genetic makeup in your DNA responded well to the Gen 7 augmentation. I tried it myself, but I didn't do so well with the procedure. Why don't you walk around a bit, see how you like the armor, and check in on your friends. Thanks for your expertise back there, Nope. Your trade secrets are very helpful. Before you start saying goodbye and getting weepy and all that, you should know that I'm coming with you whether you like it or not. Okay. Good to know. What makes you want to tag along? I'm not much for a miner. I want to check out the Sector C. There's probably some wild technology I can salvage for more of my trade secrets. Well, it's good to have you on the team. Let us celebrate with the ball of Mokuak. Sure. What is it? Developing tadpoles in fermented fish sauce. Before you ask, yes, I do have a tadpole dealer. Trade secret. Mark my word, tadpole meat will be the next cricket meat. Oh, no. 
Why did I agree to that? Dr. Grindenko, thank you for all of your help. Thank you for all of the excitement, Silas. This was much more fun than robotic bingo. Is there somewhere you'd like us to drop you off? Drop off? Nonsense. G86 and I are coming with you. I owe it to myself to investigate this quantum computing technology and the Neogenics involvement. You're certainly welcome to stay. We sure could use a legendary robotics engineer on this mission. Indeed you could. I foresee us heading toward another singularity event. We have to do everything we can to prevent it. Thanks, Dr. Kredenko. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You owe me nothing but your friendship. Although some vodka and cigars would go a long way. Thanks for your help, Griffin. What's next for you? The people of Bree no longer need a constable. And I go where I'm needed. So where are you needed now? You're too naive right now for this kind of work. I'm needed here to keep you alive. So you want to come with us to Sector C? My reasons are my own. Okay. Welcome to the team, I guess. Whatever. Last shipment has been unloaded into the infirmary. We're fully stocked, Captain. Thank you, Doctor. This is a dangerous rescue mission. We'll need all the medical supplies we need. Phoenix, check in with my team. It looks like we're all in for the long haul. Good. Something tells me we'll need all the help we can get. Let me introduce you to someone else. This is Dr. Linda Rivera. She's our physician. Welcome, Silas. Phoenix is at high praise for you. Nice to meet you, Dr. Rivera. Silas, we'll be meeting up with your Thunderbird shortly. We need someone to go outside and prepare the rig. Are you up to the task? Ready to give that new armor a test drive? Sure. What do I have to do? We are not large enough to have a hangar, so we'll have to improvise in order to tow your Thunderbird along. My crew didn't have time to install the rig that will attach your craft to the Amada. We're short-staffed at the moment, if I'm being honest. Make your way to the airlock, and I'll fill you in over the comm. I'm on my way. Before you go, your uncle also has another gift for you. The legendary MV-1. No way. The one with quantum field electron resonator technology? Man, where did you get all these fancy toys? I thought it was just a mighty tool. He didn't send the user's manual, but it's definitely not just a rock cutting tool or a fancy welder. This particular rifle is specially modified to weaponize the quantum field electron resonator and it's actually part of your G7 armor. Only you can unlock its full potential. You didn't think the military would spend so much funding the research of this technology just to cut rocks, did you? Wow, I'm honored. I'm sure these tools come with high expectations. Well, all this equipment was yours to begin with. Think of it as a sign-on bonus. Since they only work with your DNA, they're just fancy paperweights to anyone else. Come 
in, Silas. Do you copy? Loud and clear, Captain. Make your way portside to that rig. We need a few more reinforced bracers than the armature. I'm on it. MV1 of yours and use the plasma fusion setting to reinforce the welding of the rig to the hull. I think that should do it, Silas. Come on back inside.